What's up guys, this is Michael. Here we have the Sony Handycam HDR CX900. I'm really excited about this camera. It's going to be really cool to be able to film a lot of my videos that I do and then out uh, at the racetrack when um, we'll have a lot of uh, footage that we can get done and driver interviews and really a good solid camera that'll show exactly what I want it to show good quality and good zoom capabilities and there's a lot of a lot of functions on the camera that you can manually do and I think that's uh, it's really good I've been waiting a while for this camera and we finally got it in I've had it a couple of weeks to uh, play one play around with it and see uh, exactly what it can do uh, so let me show you guys uh, the outside of the box and what all uh, what all it shows so here we have you have the front side of this um, basically got all the functions down here uh, we got the 20 megapixels still image recording we got the mp4 mp4 dual video recording um, so on a couple of the functions you can actually uh, take video and pictures at the same time um, that's only in the normal um, uh, shooting a video. Um, some of the other functions like night vision and um, different color modes you can't take photos at the same time um, but that's that's not that big of a deal. Uh, we have 24 inch clear image zoom that's incredible power of getting out there and um, really showing what this camera has uh, in store for it. It was really the the combination between this camera and the um, uh, the next camera above this but this one was right around my price range of around 1500 and it was uh, the time I got all my my goodies and all my accessories for it uh, here we have uh, one side of it it shows you just a couple of pictures of what we have and uh, the back of it we have uh, of course it's um, HDMI and then we have uh, um, of course, you can use it on PlayStation and all. It also works for Mac and PC at the same time. Um, so, and this only has capability of uh, record um, recording onto a memory card. It doesn't have any internal memory, um, but I think uh, the memory card works just fine. It's got to have a big enough card to do what you need it to do. And then we have this side. Just give you a couple of accessories that you can get for it. Of course, you have the front. And then uh, nothing on the bottom here. And then uh, on the top, of course, we have the beautiful uh, HD uh, camera here. So uh, let's uh, open this puppy up and see what we got inside. Zoom out real quick. Oh, zoom out. Here we go. Now I had this open um, before. Um, I've been using it a bit, but here we got some. Um, some instructions on um, the video and of course this works for the 4k camera as well um, the instructions but it's just your normal um, instruction booklet in case you really need to you know how to know what to do but most of the time you already know uh, and of course we have some accessories uh, what you can use on it your uh, limited warranty of course, you always want to register this online in case something happens with the camera. Of course, you have it in Spanish if all you gurus out there want to read uh, it in Spanish as well. And then, of course, we have some Sony Movie Studio and then a couple of warranty informations and, of course, to register it online. Um, that's pretty, uh, pretty common for electronics like this to come in the mail. And of course we have uh, your standard uh, 110 power outlet and plug it into anything of course it just to charge the camera so it's over on the side here of course you have your you have your remote which it comes in very ha very handy when you're recording yourself you can have it at a distance and you can do what you want to do and pause and record and zoom so this comes in very handy I'm very um, excited to have this now on cameras so I can don't have to move positions and I can start and stop whenever I want. And then we have our uh, um, USB cables plug into the computer and adapter to plug into the USB and uh, um, this also plugs right right into the right into the camera with this port right here. Um, and then there's also a camera or an, uh, a USB on the camera itself. Let's, uh, let's pull out the big boy here. 
this off to the side. Now this camera, it's uh, it's all a nice black finish. It's very, very sleek, very nice. It comes with a little lens cap here, or to help with UV rays, and also protects it when you when you set it on. And you can stand it up like this when you want to do something. It protects the front of it, and also gives it a pretty sturdy, um, sturdy position when you want to do something with it. Now, uh, it does come um, with, like I said, some ports on the bottom here where you can adjust, uh, like zoom, manual mode, IR. IRES and shutter speed and then you have your your zoom for your focus you can adjust the speed here um, now on the front here what you have is a couple different uh, uh, manual modes of course you have your battery you have your um, start here for camera and then you can press this uh, for photo or video mode whatever you want and then of course on the top here here's uh, where you want to take some photos um, you can, like I said, you can take photos, recording, video, or um, manual mode, or you can do it at the same time. And then, of course, you have your uh, zoom button right here. And then right here, there's a little cap you can pop off. Um, you can put, uh, like, um, uh, optional mics or a, um, a flash or a light here. And this comes in handy when you want to do um, certain types of things. Um, now, the front here, you, uh, this will pull out. Um, now that will start um, the camera like it just turned on right now and you can take video or photos with this open with this closed and it also move up or move down um, it's pretty pretty good quality um, I think it's a little bit better quality with it pushed in um, but maybe I just here say what I'm thinking I maybe just have to spend some more time uh, figuring that out um, but uh, on the front here uh, we have uh, the lens cap, of course, the Sony logo. On the side here, you have your uh, focus magnifier right here. And then uh, uh, right here, you have your uh, USB port. Um, you can plug it into the computer or you can plug it into the adapter. And this cord is pretty short, so I'll um, most likely just plug it into the adapter and then use that to plug into my laptop or wherever I'm going to plug it into. Uh, but uh, it's uh, it's a very nice camera. Uh, I got it set up so it'll go right through my hand. I mean, I have a pretty big hand to begin with, uh, but it uh, it works it works good. I can put my fingers on the top here. Uh, now let's open this bad boy up. See what we got here. Now, of course, we have your um, standard uh, power white balance display all right here. Um, zoom into that. Uh, of course you have your slot here where your memory card goes. Of course it does not have any internal memory. Um, it's that's, that's not that big of a deal. Of course you have your headphone jack here, HDMI here, um, and you have your um, play function right here. You can press that and it goes right to your videos that you already have on there. And press that again and it goes right back to record. So it's, there's a lot of cool functions on here. Um, now uh, for this camera, if you want to go into uh, uh, menu and you can go into all your different modes, uh, shooting mode, there's a whole bunch of different modes on here. You have golf shot, you have movie mode. There's a lot of different modes that you can do. If you go into movie mode here, now once you're into movie mode, um, let me take the lens cap off here. Now once you're in the movie mode, you can um, go to press here and then go into mode. Uh, go into mode. Now once you're there, you can do whatever you need to do. On the, on the bottom here, you go, you click that button. Now you can click uh, simultaneously record movies for sharing. Of course, I have that on. There's a whole bunch of different options you can do. Um, now, uh, I have it in auto, um, spot focus. I'll get out of that. Now, if you click this little like paintbrush, that's right here. Now, you can go into all, oops, sorry about that. Now, if you click into all your different modes, you can go, uh, like this mode, 
or this mode. Um, there's a whole bunch of other modes you can do, which is really cool. Now you can go on to like the, here we go, that like night vision mode, which it's really cool at night. And of course you can't take photos and record video at the same time in these modes. You can only go into the normal mode and take a photo at the same time. Um, but it's um, pretty standard for what, what you want to do. I and mean, the camera is very nice. Um, I like it a lot. It's, there's a lot of cool modes you can take with it. Uh, it's for the uh, $1,500, I think this camera is, or $1,000, or $1, of course, $1,500 once I was done with everything. I think it's definitely worth, um, worth the money. And I'd rather um, use this um, for what I need to use it for and be uh, happy with it. I mean, I could have got the 4K camera. But I'm happy with uh, what I got, and uh, it's um, it's definitely worth the money. Uh, of course, we have night shot here. You press that, it'll go on the night shot. Press it again, it'll go out. Um, now, there's a bunch of different other features in the settings you can go off of, and what uh, uh, format you want video, what format you want the photos, um, and all that you do have to go through to... Um, make sure it's set right because of course it's factory settings and you may have uh, settings that you like personally that maybe the factory just didn't set up right um, but I think it's a very um, very cool camera I um, I think Sony has been around a long time I, uh, I like them a lot uh, it was between this and some of the other Canons but I'm glad I'm glad I um, went and spent the money and, and got this uh, it's Give you another look at it around. Um, now on the bottom here, of course, you have Sony um, HDR CX900. Of course, you have the port here to plug it onto some tripods or whatever you need to be. Now on the bottom here, you have the battery slot. Now for the battery, you just release that and then pull it off. Now to put the battery back on, you just put it on the top here, and it'll it'll pop right back in. Um, now it's uh, on the bottom on the bottom here you have a filter mode. Now you can uh, have it on two, one, or off. Now I had it on three and I think it uh, it definitely uh, adjusts for light better and shows just a little bit better quality in the video and of course you have different settings you can adjust it in wherever your preferences are but I think uh, I think it works pretty good. Now here of course you have where you plug in to charge it um, and then uh, that's pretty much it. It's uh, it's very standard. Of course, down here, you have your multi multifunction port where you plug in into the USB, and then of course here you have your uh, um, another um, like headphone jack or whatever you may need. So that type of a port. But uh, for the most part, I I like it a lot. I think it's a pretty cool camera. Um, I can't wait to use it some more and um, get uh, get some really cool footage. So here's the uh, Sony HD CX900. Um, go to your uh, local um, camera shop or you can get online now um, and uh, uh, pick one up. They're uh, they're really cool. I can give you guys some links to where you can uh, purchase it and uh, um, have some fun and shoot some good video. See ya.